Well, um, you know, the writing of a book is a, is a purely individual effort. Uh, the publishing is really collaborative. It's it's really a team effort, and it's actually one of the reasons in my introduction I use the profit and loss statement as kind of a Gray's Anatomy, but to just show how interconnected all the aspects of the process are, because each line on a P&L not only represents um, a cost or expense, but it also represents um, each one of the courses and each one of the topics that the students are going to be um, introduced to or at least exposed to during the course of the program. And so uh, I thought it was very important for the students, if they if they got nothing else from the program, in other words, it's like any educational thing, we don't remember, you know, what we learned in the senior year of university, but we hope that we learned how to learn. And in this regard, I want them to see how every step in the process is interrelated that every line on the P&L relates to every other line. The same way that when you study anatomy, in order to be a doctor, you have to know that you have a skeletal system and a nervous system and a vascular system and a muscular system, and none of these act independently of the others. They are all intrinsically bound and interconnected. And if there's a problem with one, there's going to be a problem likely with all of them. So I wanted the students to understand because they come from different backgrounds. Some come from editorial, some come from production, sales, marketing. And I just wanted to make sure they understood that the profit and loss statement is not something that just comes from the finance department and the business office to make a decision. It, it involves everything they do in the entire process from beginning to end of publishing a book.